I try to drink a whole cup of water before I drink my coffee in the mornings. Um, and it is, um, I think a little after seven, like 20 after seven. So I just got done eating breakfast and I put Silas down for his morning nap. And Raythi has um, a slight fever and just is feeling really crummy. We've been dealing with a cold um, for the past 10-ish days, but hers has gotten worse. Um, and I think she's got a sinus infection. So I made her a doctor's appointment for this afternoon. Um, and then I'm going to take her to that. Uh, so we're not going to do a whole lot today. Probably just going to watch some TV and rest um, and cuddle. Um, so I'm going to finish getting ready while they um, are watching some Netflix. So, and I'm drinking um, another thing of water um, after breakfast. I try to drink another full glass of water. Um, and then I made another cup of coffee. Um, I don't always try to, I don't always drink two cups of coffee, but today I feel like it's needed. Okay, done getting ready. Uh, I just rinse my face off and just put more deodorant on really. Um, and now my coffee is done, steeping. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna order some more diapers. Um, we are low on diapers from Amazon and um, then I'm just going to cuddle with Ruthie. We'll probably read a little bit, watch a little Netflix, do a whole lot of nothing. Um, I feel like the longer that I'm a parent, which hasn't been that long, <laughs> but um, the longer that I'm a parent, the more I realize that I'm kind of just more of like a free spirit, easygoing, keeping it simple. That's my, that's just my best way to go, I guess, for me. Um, just not having a whole lot to do on our to-do list and not being busy. Because when things like this happen, like when one of my kids is sick, I just don't have anything pressing. I don't, ha I can just stop and I can just do a whole lot of nothing. Um, and I don't feel guilty about it and I don't have anything that's just getting behind and um, yeah it's just more peaceful and doable and um, so yeah that's just more of my MO I guess as a parent it's just keeping things simple and going with the flow and not filling our days to the brim not having all you know a huge to-do list <sighs> I like it. Um, so for lunch, I'm gonna do something <laughs> with this. Um, just gonna wing it. Haven't planned out any of our meals for today, but um, I do need to eat these zucchinis. Um, and we all love sweet potatoes. Do pretty much anything with those. Um, and I need to make this broccoli too. All right, so I just have the sweet potatoes in the oven here. And then I just did broccoli with some EVOO, garlic powder, a little bit of salt, a little pepper. So Ruthie fell asleep and she's resting. Silas is about to get up from his nap in just a little bit um, and then we'll eat lunch. I'm drinking another thing of water. I added a little bit of a lime to it. Um, so while the two youngest are sleeping and before Silas wakes up, I'm going to do um, some work with Ivy and just spend some time with her um, by herself. Hi! Hi! 
<laughs> Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Yeah. Say hello. So this is lunch, got sweet potato, broccoli, and zucchini noodles with um, some homemade hummus that I made yesterday. And I will share some of this with Silas. Go to Ruthie's doctor's appointment. Um, I grabbed a banana. It's more ripe than I like them. I don't like them that ripe usually, but and then some pecans and I'm using, reusing this like tea bag. I'm trying to get better about um, not using plastic and reusable stuff so much. Um, or yeah, using reusable stuff more. Um, so that's my snack for this afternoon. And also I'm bringing my water. Drink that. I'm sorry, baby. Let's go get you checked out, okay? So we are back from the doctor and Ruthie does have a sinus infection um, and so he gave, gave her some medicine for that um, and I'm starving so I'm having like, these little rice crackers um, with, with like some of the hummus that I made yesterday. I used to not like hummus but it's grown on me. I dropped off Ruthie's prescription on the way home. And then I let her get some popsicles, um, which we never ever have, but she had to get her finger pricked. So after all of that and feeling bad and just being sick, I was like, I'm gonna get you some popsicles, girl. So she was excited about that. So this is what I'm having for dinner. Um, it's lentils that I had last night. I made them last night. So I'm having those again, some spinach, avocado um, onto small tortilla tortillas um, it smells delicious the only thing that would make this thing better is if I had fresh sliced tomatoes which I don't have right now but it looks really yummy and very filling all right so the kids are all in bed and down for the night um, sorry if the lighting is a little weird I don't have a good lighting setup anywhere in this house for a uh, nighttime, I guess. Um, but I'm drinking like a tonic, I don't know, uh, or a concoction <laughs> that I try to drink a few times every week or during the week. Um, and it's just turmeric, um, ACV, hot water, fresh lemon juice, and um, local honey. And I just mix that all up and I drink it and um, it's pretty powerful stuff. <laughs> um, the cold that I had last week, um, I drank this like two or three times during the day for like three days straight and it just knocked my sore throat and cold out and I felt 10 times better. And then I went two days without drinking it at all and I slowly like took some steps back and as you can tell, it's lingering. So I'm trying to get back <laughs> to drinking it consistently um, to hopefully knock it out for good um, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog um, when I decided yesterday to do a what not, what I eat in a day vlog today I had no idea that Ruthie was gonna get sick and that we were gonna have to go to the doctor so it was a little different than a usual day that we have I feel like I didn't even get much footage of the kids um, so yeah but I'm praying that she will feel better soon. Um, she was a little, uh, a little bit more of herself and a little bit more perkier this evening after I gave her some Tylenol. Um, and I've just been trying to do diffuse oils and all of the good stuff um, and hopefully get her well soon. So let me know down in the comments any video suggestions that you have, anything that you would like to see from me. Um, I definitely want to get back into making more videos. Um, I think I've just kind of hit a wall as far as creativity and content ideas, but I really want to get back into it. And um, we've just been busy with 
springtime and so we spent so much time outside and doing fun things like that um, and so that's why I really haven't picked up videoing recently but let me know in the comments down below any suggestions for videos topics any questions you have I haven't done a Q&A in a while um, but yeah just leave those in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you are new here and I will see y'all guys in the next one bye